12 Awesome Weight Loss Tricks That Work Let's face it, most of the time we eat not because we're hungry. Instead, we turn to food in order to increase our sense of comfort. Stress, climate, the time of day, all of this affects how much we eat. So, is there an easy way of making our psyche help us to lose those pounds? There is. According to Brian Wansink, a psychologist, marketer, and food cravings researcher. Pay attention to tip number three. It turns out you don't have to count calories for your breakfast anymore. Number 12. Don't be afraid of relapses. Most of us will find this situation familiar. You're one week into your cabbage and water diet, and it looks like the hardest part is already behind you. Then one night, something comes over you and you find yourself near the fridge, chewing on a chicken drumstick and reaching for a chocolate bar. At times like this, keep calm and refrain from putting out the bitter taste of failure with even more unhealthy food. Just let go of that drumstick, pick up a cabbage leaf, and take a bite. Number 11. Observe the rule of two. Try to make sure that your plate always contains two types of food meat and side dish, side dish and salad, fish and vegetables. This simple arrangement will accustom you to a more sensible way of eating. Number 10. Getting a second helping. Change your dining locations. Pick up your plate and utensils, nothing else, and go to the living room or study. Alternatively, you can have your meal on the balcony, terrace, or out in the garden. This way, even if you want a second helping, there's a chance that your hunger will subside before you reach the kitchen. Number 9. Leave evidence of your crimes. People who hurry to get rid of the evidence of their overactive appetite tend to eat more than those who leave it in plain sight until the end of the meal, preferring to be guided by their feeding of fullness. Number 8. The Bottomless Plate Phenomenon According to research, people tend to keep eating until their plate is empty, not until they feel full. The only way to solve this problem is to use smaller plates and eat mindfully. Keep watch over your sense of hunger and try to ignore how much food remains on the table. Number 7. Company Alone, we eat 30% less than in the presence of another person. As for those situations when we share our dinner with three or four friends, such get-togethers make you consume two times more food than when you're on your own. Conclusion: Try to eat your main meals alone and limit yourself to snacks and drinks when you have dinner with your friends or family. Number 6. Keep to the shopping list. When figuring out which products you'll need for the coming week, do as experienced chefs do. Make a complete list of necessary foodstuffs, meat, cereals, vegetables, and so on. Before going to the supermarket, check the list and only buy products you are short of. Number 5. Say no to yummies. Find the darkest, most hard to reach place in your house and stash all your yummy snacks there, or at the very least, relocate them to the remotest corner of the fridge. You might say, why not just refrain from buying these sources of temptation in the first place? As Wansink points out, that's easier said than done. Making your home a junk food free zone will cause you to eat more at your friends, in cafes, or at work. The right solution is to keep buying those things, but eat sensibly. Number 4. Chew everything thoroughly. Studies show that chewing each mouthful of food at least 32 times helps to saturate better our taste receptors, which significantly reduces the appetite and gives a faster feeling of fullness. Number three, don't save calories in the morning. 
If Wanse's statistics are to be believed, breakfast habits amount to 96% of the art of preserving a good figure. Only four out of the 100 slim women he interviewed said they don't touch food in the mornings. On the other hand, those who had excess weight admitted skipping the first meal of the day in hopes of becoming slimmer. Number 2. Eat Your Food in Portions According to Juan Sink's observations, people who prefer to sit with their backs to cafe pastry shelves or sweet stands tend to find it easier to maintain a slim figure. You can follow this tactic at home by serving your meals in portions, using plates only. As for bowls or frying pans, they should stay in the kitchen and never appear on the table. You see less, you eat less. It's as simple as that. Number 1. Be Calm and Consistent Don't rush to try out all the tips at once. The best solution would be to implement one new piece of advice each week. Gradually, in small steps, you'll attain a new way of life and acquire a slim and beautiful body. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to share it with your friends. They might find it helpful as well.